what is up my loves what is up where your family listen baby this is the keys to the kingdom because y'all know we give you the keys to your freedom and so baby if you are ready to be set free type in the comments for me free me free me you can sing it too free me free me oh you about to be set free listen my loves we are here because we got a question okay and so a sister in christ wrote me she said dr g i believe i heard god correctly about my god ordained spouse but when we're in one another's presence he doesn't show me that he's interested in me or i also feel like he's distant and uh emotionally unavailable like sometimes he overlooks me which makes me sad and then i become angry what do you think about this what would you advise me to do well for one this is a loaded question and it is very deep great question i can go in about this and i'm definitely going to speak from even experience okay so bear with me the first thing ruling out that this is not a counterfeit that you are for sure that god has spoken to you about this man being your god ordained spouse all right and you know you've heard him correctly because you know how he speaks to you and he has also confirmed his word to you a thousand a billion a trillion times okay okay first thing give the marriage back to god i literally would surrender the marriage back to god okay and the way that you do that is you literally say, you know what, Lord, I received this. Thank you for this promise. I'm going to surrender it back to you. Allow your perfect will and way to be done in this union. OK, you are not to reach out to that man. You are not to make yourself available to that man in the sense of trying to put yourself in his atmosphere, in his presence. OK, because whew, it could get ugly if it is not the right time. All right. And so, God, you have to give him time when you surrender the marriage back to him. What he'll then do is he'll begin to speak to the heart of that man. All right if he has not opened the eyes of that man yet you have to give god time to speak to the heart of your king god will turn the heart of your king towards you he will open his eyes he will begin to let him know like hey this is your wife this is the woman that i am putting you in charge of this is the woman that i need you to care for okay that is going to be your spouse if you're like me he's gonna let you know right up the front like this is your spouse <laughs> that's literally what i heard this is your spouse in and out clear as day okay and so god don't play the holy spirit will make it very evident to that man that you are his spouse okay won't be any denying it all right and it takes time to bring these marriages to pass all right and so you have to give god time because while he's doing this he has to work on the man's character all right he has to begin to align his life and make it suitable make it conducive for welcoming in his bride all right and so that takes time okay and when the timing is right god will bring y'all together my next thing that i'll say is your husband has to feel confident that you are his wife like with his mind his body his soul hearing it from god is one thing but actually feeling it actually believing it actually coming into agreement with it it's another thing all right and so again timing is everything in this point all right meaning he knows who you are he's prepared himself for you he has removed all counterfeits all hindrances out of your path and he's like okay i'm just waiting on god to give me clearance to pursue this lady all right that is going to be a way that you no longer feel like he's overlooking you okay like he doesn't know who you are because again god will confirm it to the man and he will feel so confident so assured in his spirit that that's my wife and i can't wait to go and get her okay there will be no way that he can deny you in fact you are his rib you are his rib okay and so you're gonna end up being his favorite person in the world right i'm just speaking that into existence okay because you're technically part of his body you're part of his whole existence his whole being and so anytime that he tries to deny you what he's doing is he's really denying parts of himself and you know that doesn't feel good to anybody all right and so again when it is god's timing you won't have to worry about the rejection because you'll be fully accepted when it is god's timing you don't have to worry about being angry anxious or depressed because i'm telling you queen you are going to feel unconditionally loved favored and blessed huh oh receive it all right and this leads me into my next point number three i told you this goes deep i have a lot of notes for you okay you're going to marry a man who needs you let's be clear you're going to marry a man who needs you genesis 2 18 tells us he says i will make a helper suitable for him okay i will make a helper suitable for him and so once you understand your real role as the the wife 
the lady, the leading lady in that man's life, you're there to help him. You're there to assist him. You're there. Your primary purpose, your immediate purpose is to be his helper, right? And so your husband is going to recognize that he needs your help. Your husband is going to recognize like, hey, I need something that that woman has, okay? And so your husband will need you. So wait to marry a man that actually needs what you got. <laughs> okay, listen, but guess what? Instead of waiting and worrying about what he's doing right now, what you have to do instead is choose to work on yourself choose to work on yourself queen because if god is going to use you to be a helper in that man's life you have to be an asset you have to contribute something to him you you have to work on strengthening your character your spiritual life and relationship with the lord and really hone in and enhance your your purpose your natural talent your natural abilities because again it is going to be something about you that that king is going to be like wow i need that i need what she has this woman is here to balance me out this woman is here to be a compliment to me and so if you're not focusing on yourself he's not going to be able to identify what he needs in you because it's not going to be highlighted. It's not going to be shining, okay? And so that's what God needs you to be doing right now, focusing on yourself, flourishing, shining, living in your purpose so that when God gives your man the green light, he's like, okay, I'm able to identify, like, that's my wife, that's my wife because what she's doing, what she say, how, she, how her spirit is, who she is as a person that's me that's something that i need okay my life is incomplete or uh, and don't drag it saints okay when i say incomplete because yes we have all things with jesus but you get that feeling that emotional uh disconnect like man something is missing when that person is not around okay you will be that missing link hallelujah when you're not present he's going to feel some type of like void or absence or longing it's going to be a desire that he would need you in his life okay and so if you're neglecting yourself during this time that is not the right position to be in because again if you're overly consumed with him and what he's doing where he's doing or what he's not doing okay he's not going to be able to identify you as his wife all right and so what god is trying to do in this process where he's having you in a wait is prepare you mentally emotionally spiritually physically okay and so that he ultimately wants to feel like he can trust you with his best this is his best that he's going to be releasing to you so god wants to know like can i trust you with my best can i release my best to you and and that's where you come in so yes pray for your husband stand into agree stand in agreement with the promise that god has given you but don't put your focus and energy in the wrong places you want to put it in the right place and in the right person and that is you that is you okay so in that right time timing comes and god brings this thing all into fruition you will be right you will be where he needs you to be okay and this is the last point i'll make on this question for this question god gives us blessings that make us rich and add no sorrow okay and so what was supposed to be this ordained blessing for your life it has now become a burden and a dynamic that is negative that is toxic that seems unbearable at some times because <laughs> I've heard sisters tell me like I done blocked him and and then I unblocked him and then I'm angry with him and I want to do this with like all these negative things right and it's like come on now that's the devil sneaking into the union already before it's even established in the physical to cause separation and division but that's not the spirit of the Lord leading you to do that or to feel that way all right no God's blessing make us rich and add no sorrow okay God is a man of unity unconditional love harmony so he would want you to keep the peace he would want you to hold on tight pray a little harder pray a little longer fight a little longer praise God okay and so you cannot approach this spiritual union in a fleshy way or you're going to miss the mark every single time okay you cannot do that stop causing your own heartache stop causing your own heartache you want to protect the blessing that god is giving you all right because indeed it is a blessing it's not supposed to be a burden put god first prioritize god prioritize his kingdom guard your heart queen during this time and do not awaken love before it's time okay hallelujah this man is your brother in christ before he is your husband in life okay and so god does not need you to uh do anything right now other than pray for the king pray for your husband cover his soul cover his spirit all right this is how you partner with jesus during this time okay some of you can't cover him as your brother in christ because 
you're you've already made him your husband <laughs> you've already made him your husband in your mind okay and again i'm speaking from past experiences i was horrible so trust me take it from the queen okay queen number one i was horrible all right you couldn't tell me that my man wasn't my man my man my man okay and i want to be my man my man my man okay and god was like no 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 it ain't it ain't time all right <laughs> so yes my loves if that man did not make a commitment to you, if he did not identify you as his wife, if he has not recognized his need for you in his life, that's not your husband. He's your husband in the spirit, but he's your brother in Christ in life, okay? And so just cover him. Cover the commitment. Cover the the, the union through prayer, okay? Through prayer, all right? Don't get in the Lord's way. God is going to bring it together, okay? You don't want to have your priorities out of order. You want to have your priorities in order, all right? And so listen, my loves hallelujah go to first corinthians chapter 7 verse 33 because this is going to free you this is the part that's going to free you this is your primary role right now what god needs you to understand okay in your singlehood an unmarried man and when we say man we mean man or woman okay an unmarried man should be concerned about the things of the lord the lord's affairs all right how he may please the lord however a married man may be concerned about how he may please his wife the things of this world okay and so in this case how you may please your spouse all right because i'm speaking to my queens my sisters this is for all of us all right because we all need it not just the sister in christ who reached out to me and so while you are in your single singlehood my loves what you need to understand is that this is a time for you to have undistracted devotion towards Christ in his kingdom, building his kingdom, okay? Again, he's going to do that by helping you work on yourself. Some of you in your singlehood, some of you who are still in your singlehood because God has told some of you that you're exiting out of your singlehood, so this doesn't apply to you. But if you are in your singlehood and God has revealed to you like, hey, I do have a marriage for you, I do have a husband for you, that's okay, cool. He's revealing it to you ahead of time because... For one, he values you as more than just his daughter, all right? He values you as a friend, okay? And so with y'all being in a relationship, he wants you to know so that, again, you can prepare yourself to receive this marital promise. But again, you have work to do. You have work to do, all right? And so when God reveals to you who your spouse is, when he reveals to you the details of your marriage, it is because he trusts you, not because he needs you to help him okay okay glory be to god and so focus on yourself focus on yourself do not be blinded by all of these marriage words that are coming up on youtube because i know it's like a whole kingdom spouse community out here but literally that's out of order it's leading you back to the things of the world okay and god had to correct me god had to get my priorities in order and let me know that i was out of alignment all right and so i only release what he tells me to release about marriage you don't hear me speaking about it that much okay it's not because i'm not a wife i'm still a wife trust and believe okay y'all gonna see it when y'all see it i don't have to talk about it <laughs> praise god all right and so listen people who are just constantly guiding you towards your kingdom spouse or a marital word they really supposed to be helping you prepare yourself and build your character and free your soul, get delivered, get healed, things like that, okay? Because that's what really prepares you for the union, all right? Not bombarding you with words about what it's going to be about, okay? And so focus on your heart, your mind, and your character during this time. And I promise you, God is going to make sure that when the right time comes, you're going to be ready for love and it's going to be ready for you. I love y'all. That is it. Be blessed. Do not forget to be a blessing. Go visit the queen at infinitelyhealed.com for counseling and healing services that I offer. The links are in my description box below. I will meet you over there. And until next time, babies, I'll see you soon. Mwah, later. <laughs>